Good morning everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and it's the morning of the Tuesday the 8th of November, and we have an unexpected pineapple guava look at and tasting this morning. Um, this is the, it's actually the second fruit to drop on my mammoth uh, pineapple guava or fee java. Um, however, this is the first what I call decent fruit, probably one of the largest ones on the plant. Uh, I went out in the garden this morning, it was on the ground, so I thought it'd be an opportunity to uh, do a very quick tasting on it and see what this one looks like inside. Um, I have not, I'm not going to leave it to... Um, not going to leave it to ripen for a few days i thought i'll just cut it open straight away and weigh it while it's fresh off the plant because it'll have the highest weight on it so i've got the scales here so we can see what this comes to and the answer is it's around 105 grams as i suspected this is the largest pineapple guava i've ever had of any of my plants i mean obviously they're only just starting to come into fruiting now so that for me is a fantastic size and the weight in let's just check it in ounces 3.7 ounces for anyone who's interested in the imperial weight but i'm really really pleased 105 grams for this climate i would say is a really good size fruit and i i don't know if i'm ever going to get much bigger than that um I'm not sure if any on the fruit are bigger. I suspect not. This might be the largest one that's dropped anyway. Probably dropped off because of its weight. So I think what I'll do is cut it open and see what this one looks like inside. And we'll do a sugar check on it as well for anyone interested. Because obviously I know sir, there are a few of my followers are particularly interested in the Fijawa and pineapple guavas that we can grow over here. So I'll just pause the uh, video and flip the camera around. As you can see, we've got one of our uh, rare sunny mornings here, and um, it's rained and rained and rained, but just you can see the fruit in my hand size. It probably gives you some idea, let me stand up a bit. That gives you some idea of the size of the fruit. So I thought we'd cut this off and see uh, see what it looks like inside and perhaps check the sweetness so they won't be at peak ripeness because I've not um, let it sit for a few days but I was just curious to see what it weighed and looked like inside when it was fresh off the plant. So let's cut this open. Looks pretty good to me. Um, it's got quite a lot of gel in this. Still not quite as much as... I've seen uh, on Joe's uh, mammoth, but it will be interesting to see. Let's see if I can get any juice out of it first to do a bricks test. Well, it's certainly got plenty of juice in it, so that's not a problem. Let's see what the sugar content's like on it. Twelve. Now it's not as high as some of the smaller fruits I had, such as off the Nikita, but I'm not totally surprised because um, I don't think these are particularly high sugar content fruit. So let's taste this one and see what it's like. It's quite hard around the edges, but the inside seems very uh, ripe and soft. Mm. Very nice. It's got that typical sort of tangy... sort of tanginess that these pineapple guavas seem to have. Um, I can't say that it particularly reminds me of any other fruit. As you get nearer to the edge of the fruit, of course, it gets more bitter. And I, I personally find the skin quite bitter on these. But you could slice them up and eat them with the skin on, rather like a cucumber if you so chose. But I think that could have done with sitting on the counter kitchen worked up for two or three days but I just wanted to get it while it was fresh you could see it straight off the plant and obviously it'll be heaviest when it's straight off the plant because I think they start to um, evaporate and dry out after two or three days and shrink a bit so you wouldn't get um, an accurate fresh weight <coughs> so that was a fruit off my variety mammoth 
for anyone that's interested. You can see the gel content on it, but that's a really, really good size fruit. If you could get them all that size, I'd be absolutely delighted because it's a decent amount of flesh to eat. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Much appreciated. As I said, that's Tuesday the 8th of November when these mammoths are starting to drop and I've had the first two or three now drop off the plant. So um, thanks for watching the video. Remember to give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, obviously you can share the video if you think it might be of interest to anyone. And remember to click on the bell if you'd like updates on new videos as they come out. I'll uh, catch up with you on the next video. Brett out for now.